Hey guys, D. Mark Weber here from MVP, Most Valuable Podcasts, and today I have a very special gift for you guys. We're going to do my Chicago Bears predictions, no preview, and I got something good for you guys. You're going to like it. I guarantee it. I got a little something over here. I got me something I prepared very special for this preview. You can't see it yet. It's not time yet, but I think it's going to blow your minds. All right, it's time. I, I, I dropped it. 16-0, and 0, Chicago Bears. Super Bowl, Super Bears. Ditka. All right, Bears fan, it's time. Bears fan, <laughs> what? <laughs> There's only one of you. All right, Bears fans, it's time to bear down. Here it goes. I'm excited for this season. I really am. The Chicago Bears have done some great things in the offseason. Yeah, we had to lose Adam Gase because he wanted to go to Miami. Can you really blame him? It's nice and warm over there. But it's okay. We promoted from within. Jay Cutler's got this great connection already, and we continue to try and have these connections with Jay Cutler because we want to build him up. But things looked good last season with Cutler. He looked like he was going to actually turn this around because the last couple of years have been a little rough. Uh, but we'll, we'll deal with that later. The thing I want to really talk about is this is the year where we're really going to see is, is Ryan Pace, does he know what he's doing? Because this is it. With guys like Leonard Floyd, uh, Whitehair, are we going to get production out of him? Is he really going to help out this offensive line? That's going to be really important. Are we going to get more out of our fourth and fifth round guys, which is really where Pace has kind of hit the best? That's what he's been really, really good at this year. We're going to find out if he can do more of it. Now, the the Chicago Bears offseason, you can't really talk about it without talking about the biggest acquisition they had, and that's Trevathan. Getting him is the most important thing the Chicago Bears did because that moment right there changed everything around and said, we are fixing this Bears defense. And then getting Freeman next, that was a huge addition because this just took you know a team that had nobody leading it on defense, gave one guy, and gave his co-pilot. You guys remember Brian Urlacher and Lance Briggs. This is exactly what we're trying to do. We're trying to get that number one and that number two that you can rely on. Those guys that are going to really be the rocks of this defense and, you know, rock the other team. Then, of course, getting Leonard Floyd, who some people here on uh, Most Valuable Podcast think might be the defensive rookie of the year. That's going to be pure pass rusher. But when we drafted him, my thought was, all right, Chicago Bears have one of the best linebackers you know, linebacking groups out there in the whole NFL. We got our two rocks, like I said, Trevathan and Freeman. Now we got a pure pass rusher. We got Purnell out there too. This team is just ready to kill quarterbacks. Aaron Rodgers, Teddy Bridgewater. I know I hate mentioning him in the, you know, as, as a decent quarterback. Those guys are going down. Stafford's still out there. Doesn't have Megatron anymore, but Chicago is set up to take down these teams with good competent quarterbacks ready to take them down some of the other things of course that you got to remember is it was a lot of turning things over getting rid of a guy like uh on trail roll getting rid of Slauson, getting rid of uh you know Bushrod out there these guys are kind of the they got tested they didn't quite make it they got taken out that's a lot of what we're seeing and i think we're going to see more of that this year for chicago we're going to see some of these guys on these shorter deals are they going to work out Yes, okay, we can sign them to to a better deal. If not, though, getting getting them kicked out. Alshon Jeffrey, I, I firmly do not believe that there will be any contract set up before the start of the season. He's going to play on the franchi- uh, franchise tag, and then we're going to be in this whole predicament again afterwards because he's going to get a lot of attention. And, of course, Kevin White being back, that's going to be huge too. Not having Matt Forte, we got to bring it up. It's unfortunate. I'm very sad about it. But Jeremy Langford looked like he was going to be pretty productive. What do we get out of him now? Can he continue to be as good as he was when Matt Forte was down when he was hurt? Uh, then, of course, a guy like Jordan Howard, that's pretty important to, to really have that running back by committee. 
we I don't want to say running back by committee, but I think that's kind of the way that Chicago needs to go with this. Uh, so Chicago has a tougher schedule. It's not it's not a cakewalk. A lot of that's just because the division is tough. Uh, you know, is it going to be a three headed race for the division? I wouldn't say so, but I think that Chicago's got a good chance to really compete in in the in the wild card. I'll get into it a little bit more specific later on when we do our actual predictions when we really get into the games but you guys are just gonna have to wait a little bit longer for that one i'm expecting good things out of this offense but i'm expecting great things out of this defense things are really turning around remember guys second year for a team with john fox they usually go to the super bowl i'm just saying it happens super bowl super bears so make sure you guys hit that like button if you like the video if you're ready to bear down hit the subscribe button Make sure you're here for all of our videos, all of our predictions and previews that we have coming up all summer. It's going to be filled with the NFL and patreon.com slash most valuable podcast. You can go and give us a little bit of extra support if you're willing to do that. That would be awesome. Beyond that, though, I want all my Chicago Bears fans to go out there and I want you to vote on our survey monkey and show your support for Chicago. So that way Chicago can be the very first team in our 2016 NFL season predictions. I want to do that video right off the bat, so make sure you guys go and you vote for the Chicago Bears. Like button, bear down, Ditka.